Hello again, Rob Bruff. Tonight, a man sentenced to life in prison for the brutal murder of his ex-girlfriend. The push for Gladstone's Sunday trade begins and a trapped Middlemount Miners family travels to New Zealand. All the details at six. See you then. Serving central Queensland, this is 7 Local News. Tonight, life for a man who murdered his ex-girlfriend. QR National floats on the Stock Exchange. The push for Sunday trading in Gladstone. And hidden speed cameras hit central Queensland. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us. Good evening. And a special welcome to our first seven local news edition into central Queensland. Well, a Gladstone man has been sentenced to life in prison for the brutal murder of his former girlfriend. Brownie Buxton died after being stabbed and shot in her backyard in 2008. Breonna Buxton was a bright and loving young woman. A committal hearing has begun for a woman accused of stabbing her boyfriend to death at Boyne Island. Peter Arini Nocon was 18 when Dylan James Scattergood was killed in August last year. Treasurer Andrew Fraser says the sale of Queensland's rail business, QR National, has been a success and history will remember it as the right decision. The company made its debut on the stock exchange today. But unions say it's the final nail in the coffin for regional Queensland rail jobs. It was a slow debut this morning at below its $2.55 issue price. Hidden speed camera vehicles are set to be rolled out permanently in the region. The unmarked vehicles fitted with speed cameras have previously been used here only for short periods. A Rockhampton man has been charged after the discovery of a drug lab in Allenstown. Police searched the Lower Dawson Road property on Friday morning. The 29-year-old's been charged with possessing dangerous drugs, equipment used in the commission of a crime and failing to properly dispose of a syringe. He'll appear in Rockhampton Magistrates Court next month. Residents are cleaning up after heavy rain and flash flooding caused widespread damage on the Capricorn coast. More than 200 millimetres of rain fell in the Yapoon area over the weekend. Wild winds brought down trees and homes were inundated. SES crews responded to more than 20 calls for help. And Livio will have the latest on the weather a little later. Gail Sellers is leading the race to become the next mayor of Gladstone Regional Council. Counting is still underway and the winner isn't expected to be officially declared until later this week. About 62% of ballot forms have been returned for Gladstone Regional Council's mayoral by-election. Ahead tonight in seven local news, the push to encourage permanent residents to the gem fields. And school is in high spirits despite the wet weather. watching 7 Local News. Teens have travelled from as far as the Sunshine Coast to spend schoolies week at Yapoon. More than 400 revellers have taken over the Capricorn Coast and so far police say they've been well behaved. Long-term locals of Central Queensland's gem fields are lobbying the government to encourage more permanent residents to the region. New land hasn't been released in the gem fields for almost 15 years and many are fed up. Peter Brown came to Ruby Vale in the 60s to seek his fortune and never left. OK, Nathan, sport time, mate. Some Cowboys scouts have been in town, eh? Yeah, Bruffy, some wet weather and soggy socks didn't stop our top junior talent from trying to impress. We'll have more next and a huge day ahead as the CQ bid team prepares for the arrival of the NRL's boss. You're watching 7 Local News. NRL boss David Gallup will make a crucial visit to the beef capital tomorrow. The NRL bid committee will fly him around central Queensland over two days to show what the region has to offer. And this visit could make or break the bid, and Dennis Keefe is determined to impress the CEO. The NRL's big man won't be in CQ for long, but Dennis Keefe is under no illusions of what David Gallup will think when he leaves. And a number of Cowboys braved the weekend's wet weather at Emmaus College for a CQ talent camp. The club held a number of them across the north where Jonathan Thurston revealed his desire to retain the captaincy. The Cowboys cover the biggest area of any sporting team in the country. Of course, Joe, Rob, we're all excited about tomorrow. David Gallup, he's hopping the helicopter to see uh, Gladstone first up and then Rocky and Emerald. So a busy day ahead. All he needs to know is we're rugby league mad, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, we can't wait to get a footy team here. Thanks, boys. Joey, this after the break, Livio has all the weather details for us.
Good evening, Livio Regano with tonight's weather. Well, the big southeasterlies back, tossing boats around like corks and barraging the Capricorn coast with showers. Showers have spread well inland and should continue for a few more days. Let's look at our 24-hour falls. Byfield scored the biggest, 43 millimetres. Samuel Hill had 28. Baralabar 16 in Yapoon picked up 15 mils. Temperatures today, 20 to 28 degrees at Rocky with humidity 48%. Gladstone had 28 as well with no report this time from Emerald. On the satellite loop there's extensive cloud now, especially over eastern Queensland, mostly in the form of showers and storms and it's certainly affected the inland regions as well. It's penetrating quite a long way inland. There's another area of cloud out into the Coral Sea, which in the next couple of days might start to affect the tropical coast, so news isn't looking good in terms of rainfall anyhow uh, for the entire Queensland coast. Now let's have a look at today's chart. It's a pretty classic a strong southeasterly situation. We've got a reasonably big high down in the Tasman Sea, and it's producing a firm ridge of quietly tightly packed isobars along the coast. And remember, it's the spacing of the isobars that determines wind strength. And that's why we've got a strong wind warning for all waters south of Cardwell at the moment. On tomorrow's chart, the high intensifies even further. It actually gets to 1,030 hectopascals down in the corner there. And that's going to continue the strong winds. Of course, loads of moisture coming in onto the coast, which will continue the showers. A couple of storms in the mix as well, especially inland. And they'll penetrate even further inland. On the outlook chart, Probably the um, uh, winds will start to ease by this stage, but it won't really be until Thursday that we'll start to see uh, the winds significantly ease, and even then the showers will continue. And now the official forecast in coastal waters from St Lawrence to Burnett Heads. We've got a strong wind warning for south easterlies up to 30 knots tomorrow. Those strong winds will continue through Wednesday and probably Thursday as well. Tomorrow's high tides at Roslyn Bay. It's around 9.47 in the morning for Port Albert 9.54, Gladstone 9.50. The Capricornia District forecast, scattered showers with some inland storms tomorrow. Forecast for Wednesday is again showers and storms. Thursday, just a couple of showers remaining. Central Highlands and Coalfields, again showers with possible afternoon storms. East to south easterly winds for the most part and a similar outlook for Wednesday. Tomorrow's temps, Rockhampton 27 degrees, Gladstone also 27, Biloela 26, Emerald back to 27. The forecast for Rockhampton, showers persisting for the whole week, even possibly a storm. They're looking brighter for Friday. So what are these mysterious upper-level troughs we keep hearing about? Well, just as we use ground-level measurements to draw weather charts, meteorologists use weather balloon readings to map the upper atmosphere. That's all the weather for tonight, folks. Pleasure to have your company as always, and thanks for watching 7 Local Weather. I'll be back tomorrow with more on the latest forecasts and conditions. Hope you can join me then. Now it's back to you, Rob. Wonderful, Luke. Thanks very much. Really nice having your company and look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. And if you do have a story for us, we'd love to hear from you. Our email address is localnews at 7comau from all the team here, enjoy your evening. Good night. Good night.